people moving to Raleigh means more cars on the roads. For people living in Creedmoor Road next to it, more traffic means more concern for their safety. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman is digging deeper into how many crashes are in the area and what's causing it. Cars zooming down Creedmoor Road has neighbors just concerned as they often see unsafe driving habits. Yeah, it bothers me. It's hard to get out of here sometimes. While CBS 17 was at a recent crash on Creedmoor, three neighbors told us how dangerous it's gotten. To dig deeper, I requested the number of crash reports along Creedmoor Road from Mount Vernon Church Road to Whispering Glen Lane, a quarter mile stretch. According to those NCDOT reports, in a little more than three years, there have been 48 crashes reported. This has a high crash rate. State traffic engineer Kevin Lacey says it's higher than the state average. The two lane road sees 16,000 cars a day. Not too many rural roads have that type of volume. Because it has a rural feel, Lacey tells me that leads to some drivers speeding. I found out two-thirds of the reported crashes were rear-end collisions. And more than a third of those crashes reported were within 150 feet of this Mount Vernon Church Road intersection. It's the type of pattern that you would see at uh, commuter routes. Uh, around major urban areas. Many of the crashes happen between 6 and 10 in the morning with drivers headed southbound. I try not to go out uh, during the you know rush hours. But she still sees remnants of accidents and knows not all of them are reported. If they're successful and get away like I know you know one or two of those did. I mean we found broken glass out there and everything on our entrance. So we know something happened but the guy was nowhere to be found. The area is on DOT's radar and is scheduled to be widened to four lanes in a few years. Relief is on the way. In Wake County, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.